Welcome to the Oasis. My name is Mike, and today I want to show you something that literally blew my mind. Now, if you follow the channel, you'll know that I love crazy VR accessories. I've tried loads of weird and wonderful things over the years, including haptic vests, omnidirectional treadmills, exoskeleton gloves, recoil gun stocks, and I almost gave myself third degree burns from a device that could provide hot and cold feedback in VR called Tegway. But what I'm going to show you today literally takes the biscuit. It's by far the weirdest VR accessory I've ever tried. So let's get right into it. And without further ado, let's dive in. So over the years, controllers for VR headsets have evolved. We now have controllers with individual finger tracking capacitive touch sensors, and the Quest has allowed us to use our hands alone to navigate the system's user interface with the recent hand tracking update. So what I'm going to show you today isn't designed to replace those controllers, but instead add a new control method on top of what we currently use. And that new control method is mind control. It sounds crazy, right? But this is a real product called NextMind, which is a brain computer interface. It's currently available as a development kit, and the team at NextMind kindly sent me one over for me to try out. It's a small and lightweight device at just 60 grams and can easily be clipped onto the back of a baseball cap or a head strap of a VR headset. It contains an internal rechargeable battery which lasts up to eight hours and is charged via USB-C. The device features nine comb-shaped sensors which make contact with the back of your head and can read the signals from the visual cortex of your brain which are then sent to the PC via Bluetooth giving you the ability to control digital actions with your mind alone. It sounds completely crazy and that's because it is. So now I'm going to power this thing up and show you it in action as I have some flat screen and VR demos to try and then I'll talk a bit more about how it works and my conclusion on this technology. Okay, so as you can see, I've attached the next mind to the back of my baseball cap here. There is a strap included in the box, but this seemed a little bit more comfortable for me. And I've got all the software installed. So now I'm just gonna go through the setup and calibration process. So I've got the device turned on and Bluetooth is enabled on my machine. You can see that the NextMind device is already connected and we've got a battery status here and also how well it's connected to the back of my head. And as you can see here, the green on these contacts means that it's got perfect contact to the back of my head. Now this could be that I've got a bald head essentially, you know, maybe it would cause more problems if you had more hair and you wasn't uh, follically challenged like me. But, you know, it's the first time that I've ever been told that my mind is perfect, so I'm happy with that. So let's carry on, start the calibration, hold still and stay focused. I've got it. So I'm focusing on the, uh, the lines there. That seemed to work. Okay, so let's stay focused on this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I got a perfect score. That's pretty cool. So it seems like my mind is completely primed for doing this sort of thing. So this is the fun part. You've got these three circles in front of me and I can just choose which one I want to pick just by focusing on it. So let's pick the far right one. And now the far left. And now the far right again. And now the middle. It's completely insane that it actually works. I, I, I don't really understand it, but let's carry on and try some more demos and see what we can do with the power of my mind. Okay, so this is controlling a TV. So let's uh, check out the news. <laughs> I can pause it. Or I can turn the sound off. Okay, let's turn the sound back on. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> I feel like I have some kind of superpowers. It's nuts. Okay, so now we've got uh, a music composer here. So let's try and make some beautiful music with just the power of my mind. Nice. Get some more drums in there. Oh yeah. This is my jam. <laughs> Get some ambience. some synths in there. 
Starting with the low. Some high in there. <laughs> this is so nuts. Wow, okay, let's just re restart this. This is how you restart the whole thing. And then we're back. <laughs> this is completely blowing my mind right now. I can't believe how well this actually works. So let's try a couple more demos before we move on to the VR one. Okay, so this is a basic little platforming game. And what we can do is we can focus on those rocks to destroy them and move them out of the way of our little character and also blow up enemies <laughs> with my mind <laughs> ooh jedi powers oh oh no focus mike focus 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 Whoa, that was crazy. That was crazy. Uh oh, let's destroy this enemy first. <laughs> Eat it, noobs. Feel the power of my mind. <laughs> We finished it. We finished the game. So now that we've had some fun with the PC flat screen demos, now it's time to jump into VR and try out their VR demo using the Oculus Quest 2 and Virtual Desktop. So this is the VR demo and just like before with the PC version, I'm not using my hands or anything else. I'm literally just using the power of my mind and I'm using it to blow up these aliens. So it's time for ET to go home. <laughs> I feel like Professor X. I feel like I have to do like a... Focus. Oh, dodge it. Blow up his mind. <laughs> there we go. And we can teleport by focusing on the uh, teleportation marker over there. There we go. <laughs> I feel like I need to be in that wheelchair like Professor X rolling around, blowing up these aliens with my mind. Right, let's dodge the incoming fire. Focus. <laughs> so I'm focusing on his on his feet. I'm looking around him. Nothing's happening. But then if I focus my mind on his brain and look at the pattern. Really focus on the pattern. <laughs> he explodes. So now I'm gonna try and explain how this technology works in the most basic way I possibly can. And that starts with a mind-blowing fact that I recently learned, and that is that you don't actually see with your eyes, you see with your brain. For example, this video that you're watching now, your eyes are just the middleman between the images of this video and the visual cortex of your brain. So when I'm wearing the next mind device and focusing on these objects in both the flat screen and VR experience, each of these objects has a unique signature pattern overlay, which is being read by the visual cortex of my brain. These signatures and signals in the visual cortex can be picked up and identified by the next mind device, which are then sent to the PC to process them and translate them into an action. The next mind is a non-invasive device which just reads the signal from your brain. It can't actually write to the brain and you can opt in and out of any data that you wish to share with the company. Tech like this seems like complete science fiction but it might not actually be as far into the future as you might think. Because next mind aren't the only ones that believe this technology could change the way we work and play forever. Brain-computer interfaces have been a hot topic recently with Elon Musk going a few steps further by wanting to actually implant a chip into your brain which can both read and write called Neuralink. Gabe Newell from Valve is also excited about this tech and recently did an interview with the New Zealand News Network talking about the research and development they're doing with brain-computer interfaces and how the sensors could be implemented into the head strap and facial interface of future VR headsets. I'll add a link to the whole interview with Gabe in the description down below. It's absolutely fascinating to watch and I'd urge you to check it out. But going back to Nextmind, even though this is just the beginning, 
I'm super impressed with it as it was very simple to set up and use and it made me feel like I had a superhuman ability. It's not perfect by any means and still has a long way to go. For example, right now, it can only be used to read your brain signals to essentially turn a switch on or off, and the response time is kind of slow. It doesn't give you that full Jedi powers feeling whereby you could move an object around the screen with your mind alone, but with developer work, they could certainly create game experiences that replicate that feeling by using this device to activate scripted sequences in game. Just imagine a game that uses this technology in a way that mind control is part of the game's narrative and the character that you play has telekinesis powers and can collect ammo and supplies using your mind whilst traditional controllers are used to control movement and other in-game actions. Or imagine a Star Wars game where you could use Jedi mind tricks to convince stormtroopers to move along. Or even a game engine that could sense if you were getting bored in the game and automatically adapt on the fly and ramp up the difficulty. That would be totally awesome. I have to be honest, when Nextmind initially approached me, I was very skeptical. But now, having tried it, I'm incredibly excited to see where this technology goes in the future. Okay, so that is Nextmind. It's just a development kit right now, which costs 399 US dollars, and Nextmind are focusing on getting this into the hands of developers so they can build the games and applications, integrating the Nextmind SDK to utilize this new and exciting technology. If you're a developer, I've added a link to their website in the description down below. I found playing around with this tech that it gave me that feeling of something really special and futuristic and took me back to the excitement of trying virtual reality for the first time and knowing that someday it will be huge in the future. The applications beyond gaming for this kind of tech is limitless and just think how something like this could transform the lives of people with disabilities or restricted mobility who could go about their lives controlling objects with their minds alone. Pretty crazy stuff. But let me know what you think of Nextmind in the comments down below. Do you think this could be a part of the future of VR? What applications and games would you like to control with your mind? Or what applications can you see beyond just gaming? I'd love to know in the comments down below. Leave a like if you liked the video and you found it interesting. Make sure you're subscribed for my future VR content. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.